this is any more video and then i say okay i'm gonna do a coffee chat today and I forgot to put my camera to charge so i have to record on my phone so lord i have my phone kind of like mounted up on some stuff here so hopefully it doesn't fall good morning good morning what's up guys happy new year Whew. okay i'm here i'm here i'm here What's been going on with y'all? Where y'all been? I've been here. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram. No, I've been here. Just haven't posted any video. So in 2020, I worked a lot. I worked a lot. It was a very... You know, 2020 was such a rough year for a lot of people, but it was my best year for work. And obviously because mortgage rates are so low, 2020 kept me quite busy. So, so yeah, um, thank God, let me knock on wood. <laughs> So far, you know, no one in my family has been affected by the virus. And um, however, I do have, you know, there was a time you were like, I don't know anyone with the virus. And then suddenly that circle started getting closer and closer. So, yes, I do now know folks who... Uh, who had it, gotten over it, battling it. But the virus is like the least thing I feel like it's been affecting the people around me. It's just been other stuff, you know, cancer, heart attack, um, stress, depression. I mean, it's it's all around me and so i think we've gotten so consumed with what's been going on with the virus that we forget that there's other stuff that's killing us as well so yeah so i'm sending out prayers to anyone who's watching this who has been affected one way or the other by you know whether it be the virus or whether it be finances, whether it be your health, whether it be emotional, you know, um, just pray that you're able to get over that hump and uh, be on a road to recovery soon. So... So that's so that's not a, that's out of the way. Let's talk about you know, fri frivolous lighter stuff. Uh, I just didn't want it to appear like I don't care, or you know, I do care, and that's another reason why it was kind of difficult to just do videos and just talk about random shit, because I feel like people dealing with so much um serious stuff in their life it's like what am i supposed to talk about it's like but at the end of the day we kind of have to like regroup say okay you know this is what life has presented to us let's embrace it let's deal with it the best way we can let's move forward let's uh uplift each other and just be a good moral support for each other. So here I am being a good moral support to my friends on the internet. So 
Some of you I have spoken to personally, so you know how I feel. So the rest of you. So the elephant in the room. <laughs> Yo, this hair, this hair, this hair. She's come a long way. I have to wash it today. I am going to hairdresser today. First of all, let me tell you, hairdressing, uh, specifically natural hairdressers, have things have changed. You know, I have not been to a hairdresser since two thousand and ten. Y'all remember that? <laughs> the OGs will remember. Y'all remember when that lady bun my hair and I cut it all off? <laughs> That was uh, that was some time ago, and after since that I have never been back to a hairdresser. But my ends need a professional trim. I have been trimming my ends throughout the years, but it needs a professional trim. Professional. I mean, it's just there. My hair is just there. Um, I have been experimenting with blowouts because I got the Revlon um blow dryer so i have been experimenting with that and i really really like it but this is an old wash and go so the front of my hair is just not growing as much as the back of my head i don't know why i back in the day the back the front of my hair used to flourish more than the back yeah, my hair is really tangled right now. Just like, oh, y'all. <laughs> y'all. Anyways, I just wanted to show you a link check in the back here if I could get these strands to stop make love to each other. Anyway, the back is pretty long. The back is pretty long. I mean, I posted a picture on Instagram with my hair blown out, so you would have seen it. But anyway, so I am going to make an appointment. Yeah, I get my shrinkage. I am going. I have an appointment this evening with a hairdresser to trim my ends, to treat my hair, trim the ends, and yeah. I am hoping she could trim it in a uh, curly state so she doesn't have to blow out my hair, but we'll see. I have tried making appointments with different natural hair salons and they're just way too expensive. <laughs> way too expensive. And some of these natural hair salons think they all that and want you to pay consultation fee before they could even, you know, do a service day here and i'm just like i've been natural now 11 years i lie it's since 2009 so what's that enough time and so i don't need a consultation to tell me about my hair i just want you to just provide a service so, anyways, I'll let you guys know how this go. She came recommended from someone I trust. So, hopefully, I don't have any regrets going to a hairdresser. But, um, I have, well, as you guys know, you already know, I'm debt free. I should say, I'm consumer debt free, right? I always feel like when people say I'm debt free, it should include the mortgage, but obviously it does not include the mortgage. So I would say I am free from consumer debts. Okay. So because of that, I have now been, I am now able to enjoy some extra, <laughs> extra curricular self-care stuff, which includes going to this hairdresser which includes splurging on hair products last black friday and i splurged 
but thankfully my shopping bug is over and now i'm just gonna try these products i, I got a whole a bunch of products from she sent it it's my first time trying the line even though she's been around donkey years and i got the products from melanin hair care melanin hair care the shampoo the shampoo my heart when i tell you i love that shampoo i'm actually gonna use that today because that will give me it gives you a thorough a thorough a thorough <laughs> clean but it doesn't like i have the mm, come clean come clean come clean the brand you know the shampoo is come clean Rig. Anyways, I have that shampoo. That shampoo will give you a clean, a clean. It is strip, strip, strip everything. Melanin hair care shampoo strips everything, but it doesn't leave your hair feeling stripped. Does that make sense? So I love the melanin hair shampoo. The melanin, the leave-in rinse out that conditioner yeah mm. uh. Uh. that's a work in progress i have not found a way to make that work for me as yet let's just put it that way the oil i like anyways this is not about hair products reviews right now i just mentioned it yes today i'm going to use the melanin hair care shampoo wash my hair go to the hair salon with clean hair so she don't have to do that process and um i just want a, a treatment and trim maybe a cut depending you have to be careful when you use the word cut with hairdressers you know because then they cut off hairs now, I know I need a good trim, eh? I need a good trim. Maybe at least, at least an inch of hair. But... So, yes, yeah, so that's the update with the hair. As far as me personally, physically, I'm okay. I went to the doctor this week for my annual checkup. The doctor's scale was broken because the doctor scales that I gained 11 pounds in one year. I don't know where these 11 pounds are. I mean, I think half of that is in my belly. My waistline. Okay, all of it is in my waistline. You know, the funny thing is, I had no idea I was gaining all this weight. I did not feel it. Yes, a lot of my pants, waist is like a cat button now. So I'm like shrinking in the washing machine. <laughs> I have not worked out all of last year. Besides, you know, a few walks here and there. But like really work out because I refuse to go to the gym under such conditions and i just have not worked out um my diet has not really changed that much so but i have not been active and the scales like i have this electronic scale because when i left the doctor's office i'm like i there that something was wrong with that scale just as absolutely no way so I, you know, it's one of those electronic scales that has an app. So I pull up the app and I could see what my previous weight was in January, 2020. I get on there and the app calculated. You know what this bitch said? She said, is this Lisa? Question mark. because she was like um this is a lot of weight from the last time you weighed so uh 
Can you verify if this is you, please? I was like, yes, bitch, it's me. It's me. It's me. So my doctor scale was not broken after all. Yep. Some of my friends says it's love weight. Maybe. I think it's just I have not been active at all. Speaking of love weight, so my boyfriend and I are in the middle of buying a house um, because this place is just, this place is small, it's too small for me. So for two people, it's just, things are just coming out of the walls in this apartment. I just can't, just can't. It was a scary decision for me. Scary and excited at the same time because I just got out of debt. I, you know, and I had this plan. I'll pay off this mortgage in five years. I know all that's changed because now I am taking on this huge debt which is more than twice what's left on this apartment it's scary it's scary for me because i have been on this journey and i knew the sacrifices i had to make and now here i am i could enjoy the luxuries of life i can go get my facials lord my phone sliding Lord, guys, oh Lord. I can go get facials, I can go get pedicures, and you know, I could spend money on myself for a change. Sorry, guys, this phone. But now I'm embarking on this journey. Yes, there'll be two of us, and yes, there'll be shared expenses, but still. <laughs> It is scary. So it is new construction, so it wouldn't be ready until middle of the year sometime. I'm excited with the whole looking for furnishings and designing this and that and this. I'm excited. That part of it I'm excited, but yes, I am. I'm trying to get over that anxiety part of it. I'm I'm really working hard and getting past that and just enjoying the journey. And um yeah. So I guess there's something to look forward to. Um I'm not really sure how much to share because I mean, there's so much videos on YouTube about the home buying process and all that good stuff. But if I do talk about it, it will be part of a coffee chat. It's not going to be like a specific video. Um, I don't want my videos to be targeted. You know, I, I want my videos to remain intimate with just you guys. Um, so my titles are probably not going to reflect the content of these videos because what I'm talking about, I just need it to remain between us. <laughs> so I'm not going to put like a title, I'm buying a house. Yeah, that's just not going to be the case. If you watch the video and you happen to watch the whole thing, then you know I'm buying a house. You understand? So, because I don't do videos um, to make money on YouTube. Fuck YouTube, because they're talking about you have to have this much subscribers, this much clicks, this much that. So, keep your money then. Keep your money then, okay? It's so, YouTube is not a career for me. And I understand it is for a lot of people. So, their, their titles and their tags and stuff is to draw people to the videos. Mine is 
my videos to remain intimate and you know with just us here so my ride or dies y'all stuck around <laughs> so anyways um so yeah so there's that coming up so yes as i do these coffee chats i will talk more and more of what's going on right now i started downsizing i've already downsized all my clothes and shoes and handbags and i've sent a whole bunch of shit to trinidad i pack a barrel and i pack whole bunch of shit so that's done so whatever is there that will be going to the house i started downsizing the kitchen i have a million and one glasses a million and one coffee cups and travel mugs and i have a serious problem so i am in the process of downsizing those getting rid of all of the excess stuff and because i want when that they reach when moving they reach everything is organized done it's just to move it put it in the house i'm not taking anything over the hill and it and it is in this same um neighborhood i'm still going to be in the fort lauderdale area so um, initially we looked at homes in west palm we looked at homes in port st lucy and even though they were cheaper up there, the biggest decision making for us was because we both work for ourselves, the prospect of work. That's number one. Two, the availability of Caribbean food, Caribbean lifestyle, because I still want to have, I still want to feel a part of Trinidad near me and moving further away from Fort Lauderdale was the furthest away we were getting away from that. And then, and we looked outside of Florida, we looked at North Carolina, we looked at, um, we looked at Tampa, um, but I was like, ugh, I don't know anybody in these places and starting all over at my age, I'm just like, I, 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 I can't, it's too much. It's already enough. I'm taking on this big debt and to take it on in somewhere. I have no, absolutely nobody. There's no beach. There's no Caribbean food. There's my, my friends are not there. Just I is I gotta start my business all over. I was like, mm -mm. so after we process everything, we agreed to stay in this area. So, um, who was I saying before? Oh, yes. Yeah. So I was saying that anything that's not going to the new house, I'm starting to get rid of them. And it's going to be all new, everything, new furniture, new, new furnishes, new, you know, new, 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 new. <laughs> I've been looking at tons of videos on YouTube. Tons of uh, home decor closets this that the other so it's not a big mansion because i don't want to be house poor and so between the both of us i am going to be back into the same situation i am with this house so when you split the mortgage day in half i'm back to where i am you follow so i'm not putting myself in um bigger debt too. um not bigger debt but bigger monthly obligation so so i should still be able to have my monthly allowance so yeah because your girl started getting facials on a regular and i started by getting my pedicures i don't do anything with my fingers i'm just not that person 
if I have an event to go to or something, I'll put press on nails, but I don't do my fingers. Um, so yeah, so that's the update guys. That's the update. I will keep you all posted. I will try to be a little bit more consistent with these videos. I really will try. Big shout out to my friends who's watching. I love you guys. And um, yeah, I feel like there was something else that I wanted to talk about. Okay, so here's the here's upcoming things I want to talk about. Waxing. I'm going to talk about waxing. Okay. Because I see this video is already almost half an hour. I'm going to talk about waxing. I'm going to talk about relationships. I'm going to talk about designing stuff for the house. The home process. Um, menopause. Guys. Anyways, I have a lot to talk about. So, that's all for now, though. That's all for now. So, I uh, just look forward to upcoming... Chalala, 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 chit-chat. Happy Carnival to my Trini people. It's Carnival weekend, but due to the virus, Carnival has been cancelled. But you know there's people out there who still have the carnival, eh? Because carnival must go on. Carnival must go on. I have my own little carnival here by myself. Carnival must go on. So we got to talk about the skin. Yo, I have been having, can you see my skin? My skin has cleared up a lot, but. I just have one little mark here to get rid of. But we're going to talk about the skin. I got to get this mole remove. Remember I had mole removes earlier? A few years ago? I like to get this one removed as well. But my skin has cleared up. But when I tell you I have had some acne issues. Okay that's all for now okay thanks for watching happy sunday i'm gonna see you all there i'm gonna see you all this soon again bye